Because it's Valentine's weekend, I decided to put this video together and share with you the things that Mark and I found last year, yes, last year, to share with you the sales that we absolutely loved last year because we made such good profit. And we hope you love this video too. Simple sales for good profit. Hi everyone, I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. Welcome to our channel. As said, this is a what sold video for our top sales for last year. What we found to resell on eBay and I decided to start at $39 and up. Why $39? Well, when you pay a dollar to $3 for something and you can flip it for $39 or more, like well over a hundred, it's not such a bad flip, right? So I decided to start at $39 to encourage you to look for similar things that you might be able to flip for far more than you ever thought. We shot the Goodwill, Salvation Army, The Restore, church sales, garage sales, state sales, antique malls. We shop all over the place for things to resell. But there's something that I want to share with you, a tip that maybe will help you look at things differently when you're outsourcing. I think it's probably typical for resellers to go out with something in mind like glass babies. <laughs> Where would I get that idea, right? But something in mind that they're looking for to resell. Kind of in a zone, you might say. And what Mark and I do when we go out, let's take, for example, the Goodwill store. I know that many resellers are there shopping just like we are. And I truly believe that many of those resellers miss things because they have something in mind. Maybe it's DVDs, maybe it's clothing, maybe it's a particular type of hard good. Whatever it may be, they have something that they want to find and they ignore a lot of things they could flip for a really good profit. When we go out sourcing, Mark and I go out looking for things to resell, yes, but with a twist. And that's what I want to share with you. We look for things that we can research to find out if they have value to resell. And that's the difference. That's the big difference. Yes, we can get on our phones and look things up, but how many things do you look up out of your comfort zone? I think you're going to find some things in this video that are probably out of your comfort zone, just like they were ours. But we did our research and we bought them and we flipped them. Let's get started. This first item is a church rummage sale find and we paid only $3. And it came in the original box. It's a Metro Cane Mighty OJ Citrus Juicer White Enamel and it sold for $39.94 plus shipping. Another church sale find. This vintage 1960s Indiana glass in ice blue is called an apothecary jar or canister. Paid $5 and it sold for four asking price of $39.95 plus shipping. This two count lot of vintage Taylor Smith & Taylor Reveille Rooster Oval serving platters. So part of a garage sale find, we still have other pieces to sell, but these two platters sold for full asking price of $39.95 plus shipping. And this is a Goodwill find in the original box. A four count lot of pock and chain speckled blue ceramic bowls. Marlboro is a name tied to these bowls and it's a super chili bowl. And I added the keyword farmhouse to the title. Paid $3.99 in the lot of four. Sold for four asking price at $39.95 plus shipping. This is a restore find and I found two enamel pieces that day. The round bowl and a rectangular tray. I paid $5 for it at the ReStore and it sold for full asking price of $39.95 plus shipping. Mark found this at the Goodwill. It's a beautiful pink vase. I should have kept it for Valentine's Day. Not that I'm getting flowers. We paid $3.99 and it sold for full asking price of $39.95 plus shipping. And as far as keeping it for flowers, no, I don't need flowers for Valentine's Day, nor candy. Just take me to Red Lobster for lunch. All right, I digress. Let's continue. Here's a strange one. Kind of strange. I can't remember where we got it. Hmm. I think Goodwill. And I think I paid about $3.95. These are brand new 24 sacks, which are four ply Electrolux germ grabber vacuum filter bags. Yes, I buy filter bags. I research them to make sure they have some value first. They sold for full asking price of $39.95 plus shipping. I love this find at the ReStore in downtown Kingsport, Tennessee. I found it in the office supplies section and they wanted $5 for it. It's a vintage Japan mid-century modern 1960s Hamilton Industries desk lamp in that wonderful 1970s avocado green. Well, you might have to be my age to remember that color. Paid $5 and it sold for full asking price at $39.95 plus shipping. 
Pretty certain we got these bowls at the Goodwill. I believe we paid $3.95. They're made by Arca Rock, and there's Arca Rock USA and Arca Rock France, and we have found that the France ones sell better. Not sure why, but they do. They're clear glass thumbprint design fruit bowls, four and a quarter inches, so not very big. And the seven count lot sold for full asking price of $39.95 plus shipping. Occasionally I pick up shoes at garage sales or church rummage sales. And these Cole Haan Nike Air women's size eight open toe shoes. They are leather. I do try to look for leather when I'm buying shoes. Probably didn't pay more than $2 at a church rummage sale. And they sold for full asking price of $39.97 plus shipping. Do you sell shoes? And another pair of shoes that I'm sure came from a garage or church sale. A2 by Aerosols Scenario Women's 7.5 Pumps or Slip-On Shoes. Sold for full asking price of $39.99 plus shipping. I absolutely remember buying this vintage lampshade. In fact, I bought three of them. It was at a garage sale. Let's see, there was a pink one, a white one, and the yellow. Vintage Art Deco Bubble Glass or hobnail pattern. They're ceiling light shades from the 30s or 40s. Got all three of them for $5. Not bad, right? And sold the yellow one on offer for $40 plus shipping. What do I have into it? $1.66. Another church rummage sale find. The vintage Italian brass framed floral art. Got all three of these for $2. Keywords, oval convex bubble glass because they're domed. Sold on offer. Again, pay $2, sold on offer for $40 plus shipping. Another Goodwill find, paid about $3.99. Found another little pretty dish. Little serpents, I guess. I like the shape of it. It's $3.99, but it is made in Italy. Sold on offer for $40 plus shipping. These glasses are a restore find. A four-piece lot of vintage Ellie Smith glass in ruby red, and the pattern is moon and stars. Paid a dollar each, so I have four dollars invested and sold on offer for forty dollars plus shipping. And if you're new to our channel, I have pack and ship videos on how to pack and ship fragile items and glass items, wine glasses, goblets, all types of things. So check those out. And this is most certainly an odd Goodwill find. It's a vintage Andes Clipper Company vibrator massager, and they priced this up a little bit. I believe we paid $6.99 but it did sell on offer for $40 plus shipping. And Mark found this at the Goodwill. It's a vintage McCoy pottery vase in off-white, and I used the keyword farmhouse in the title. Farmhouse is a very popular keyword. We did pay up for this at the Goodwill. They knew it was a McCoy because it said McCoy on the bottom, paid $12.99, but it did sell on offer for $40.34 plus shipping. Someone commented on a recent video about the clear glass that I have Yes, clear glass can sell. It's not my preference to buy clear glass. I love colored glass, you know I do. But if you research it, yes, clear glass can sell. And this is a nine count lot of vintage Arca Rock France again. Clear glass thumbprint dessert or fruit bowls. I'm sure I didn't pay more than about $3. And they sold on offer for $42.46 plus shipping. It's amazing to us how many times we have found and sold ink cartridges. We found them at the ReStore mainly, sometimes at Goodwill, a lot of times at garage sales, and even church rummage sales. And the box doesn't have to be full. It can be partial sometimes. Check your expiration date. You can sell expired ink cartridges, and we do it all the time. But I would kind of be careful if it's pushing 20 years or something. This is a five count lot of Epson. I'm sure we didn't pay more than $3 and the lot sold on offer for $44 plus shipping. We didn't go to a lot of estate sales last summer. We spent most of our time through the summer at church rummage sales and garage sales, but this is an estate sale find. We are at the estate sale house. It's a candelabra and the Lucite candles. We split them up. It says $8 on the tag, but it was Saturday, so it was half price, so we paid $4. We haven't sold the candelabra yet, but we did sell the candles. Now the candles cost $2 and they sold on offer for $45 plus shipping. Keep your eyes open for these type of candles. They sell at great prices. I can't recall where we found this Bucilla felt kit for this angel tree topper. We picked them up everywhere, all types of places, but it did sell for full asking price of $49.95 plus shipping and probably paid a couple of dollars for it. This is another Goodwill find. Vintage 1999 Star Trek The Next Generation Chess Set. I had this on Facebook Marketplace for the longest time. Didn't sell. 
Sometimes I think though, when you're selling locally on Facebook Marketplace that you're selling to other resellers. So probably the price was a little bit high. Finally, put it on eBay and it sold on offer for $45 plus shipping. Tiki mugs, do you know about Tiki mugs? I paid $2 for these Tiki mugs. Tiki mugs by Tiki Rob, Rum Haven Mermaid Design. Can you believe the two of these paid $2 sold for four asking price of $49.95 plus shipping. If you watched our videos, you know that's one of those woohoo sales. Yes, we woohoo in our house. Better than a boohoo. Another church rummage sale find. We're arriving at the church, but I'm pretty certain the sale is in the back. Make an offer. And we got eBay comps. But they said they're not expecting the eBay price. It's a vintage Fenton glass owl figure or paperweight in a beautiful aqua blue. Paid $5 at the church sale and it sold for full asking price of $49.95 plus shipping. Have you noticed a pattern here? We're going up in price. Mark found this at the Goodwill too. It was brand new Sesame Street. Let's Dance Elmo, a toy that sings and dances. La 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 la. La, 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 Elmer's World. Paid $3.99 and it sold for full asking price of $49.98. You know, it could have sold for $29.98 or $39.98, but because we priced it high, we had a chance of selling it for full asking price. And it even had make offer on it and it still sold for full asking price. Don't be afraid to price your items higher and put make offer. Many, many times you can get the full asking price. Now this is an odd find at a church rummage sale. A church rummage sale that basically had nothing of value. I mean, it was just a bunch of junk. So as we typically do, we start looking at things that we wouldn't typically pay much attention to. And this is one of those items. Breathe Right Strips at a church rummage sale? I bought Breathe Right Strips? Yes, I did. I paid a dollar or two for the two boxes. New sealed, that's important, new sealed. And this lot of two Breathe Right extra strength nasal strips 72 count times two boxes that's only 144 nasal strips would you have paid any attention to these unless you use them maybe not what do you think they sold for how about for asking price of 49.95 plus shipping that was an odd find and a great sale a great profit making sale Here's another odd item that we pick up and I find them all over the place and nobody seems to pay attention to them probably until now. Uh-oh. Some of the local resellers watch our channel. We might be in trouble. We'll probably never find another one at Goodwill. I actually think we found this one though at a garage sale. It's a two-tier wood measuring spoon and measuring cup holder or stand for the kitchen. No branding on the bottom. We do clean things up. We do polish them with some food safe beeswax to make them shiny. This one came with the measuring cups and spoons. So I think I might've paid $4 at that garage sale. Sold for four asking price of $49.95 plus shipping. This oil lamp is a garage sale find. It was full of wooden spools wrapped in ribbon. I knew I could take the spools out. What did I pay? Three to five dollars. It's a vintage oil lamp that's been converted to an electric light. And again, I use the keyword farmhouse. Sold for four asking price of $49.95 plus shipping. Pretty certain this is a Goodwill find. I think we paid $3.99 for the lot. It's a lot of six falls graph everyday Sparta white bowls, salad or cereal bowls, and they sold for $49.95 plus shipping. I hadn't realized until I put this video together how many things that sold at full asking price plus shipping. This one was a real surprise. I found a bag of vintage wood knobs at a garage sale in pretty bad condition. They're square. I did a lot of research but found out that they're rare because they're square. There are two sizes and I listed them as is. I often put as is in our title to alert the buyer to check out the condition notes and the photos and make sure they know that there's some issue with this item. Yes, you can sell items that are less than perfect. Thank goodness. Paid a couple of dollars and they sold for full asking price of $49.95 plus shipping. I'm still selling Boy Scout items. That estate sale has really paid off, which is a good thing because I spent a couple hundred dollars there. This is a Boy Scout 17th World Jamboree Korea 1991 Australia Contingent Jacket Patch. Sold for four asking price of $49.95 plus shipping. Another church rummage sale find. 
Pay just a few dollars, probably two or three. It's a vintage Westmoreland slag glass owl sitting on some books. Slag glass, colors of glass, melted together, and then it was pressed into a mold to make this owl. It's a paperweight, it was small. Sold for full asking price of $49.96 plus shipping. Another garage sale find, not too far from us actually, just a mile or so down the road. I know they wanted more for this than what I offered, I think four or five dollars. It says Fidelity on the case and they're antique folding octagonal eyeglasses. Researched them like crazy and found out they're rare. Sold for full asking price of $49.97 plus shipping. This dress is a garage sale find. It's a new with tag IGG, a giggy, IGG, and it sold for full asking price of $49.98 plus shipping. This tall cherub ceramic vase is an estate sale find. It was one of those videos where we went way out in the country, way, way, way out in the country. But we love those kind of sales. We love exploring and we love the country views. I paid $5 at the estate sale and this cherub vase sold for full asking price of $49.99 plus shipping. In this section, I just want to talk about buying things in bulk or buying lots. I found these veggie bullet blades at the Goodwill. A whole bunch of them, in fact. Look how many I found. $1.99 each. Bought every single one. Sold one for $14.95 and another one for $24.94. Three for $49.98 and I still have more to sell. That's why I threw this in here to show you that sometimes buying all of something knowing that some are going to be worth $50 and some 15, some 25. Sometimes it's worth buying the entire lot. As I said, we still have more to sell. They've more than paid for themselves already. And the same thing with this lot of Frank Oma dishes that Mark found at the Goodwill. Mark, what are you into here? Some Frank Oma pottery. There's a, a butter dish, a couple tumblers, a cup, four bowls, four plates. I know the one plate already has a chip. So 12 pieces for $4.99. Yeah, for paid $4.99 for 12 pieces. We separated everything in the two tumblers sold for $29.95 plus shipping. Three plates sold for $24.95 plus shipping. The butter dish sold for $25.46 plus shipping. And a single coffee mug sold for $19.95 plus shipping. Again, why I'm putting this in this video to show you how buying a lot of something can end up bringing in a lot of nice profit. And I've got another one to show you. The Restore find of the Mikasa Blue Daisies. I know you're probably tired of seeing the Mikasa Blue Daisies in so many videos. But we've been selling it piece by piece. Paid $15 for everything. I do still have the coffee cups to sell. The butter dish by itself sold for $30. Remember, paid $15 for everything. The creamer and sugar bowl sold for $30 plus shipping. And the gravy boat just sold recently for $39.95 plus shipping. Still have those coffee mugs to sell though. Hmm. Anybody need some Mikasa Blue Daisies coffee mugs? And this is something else that you've seen in many, many videos for the last two years. These new American Greetings Taylor Swift musical Christmas ornament where it plays this song red. I found 24 of these at a church rummage sale and paid $2 each. I should have kept a spreadsheet as to how much money we made off of these ornaments. It's been amazing because for the most part they've sold in this range. This one sold for $59.99 plus shipping. Remember paid $2 and this one sold for $49. Some of them sold for $65. Again bought the whole lot, invested $48, made that back easily with selling one ornament. Here's something else that we love to pick up. Vintage mid-century modern style. Mid-century modern style. What's that mean? Well, that means it looks like mid-century modern style, but it was probably made in the 1980s. But you can still use those keywords, and they help a lot to sell these vases. But this one is older. It was made in Japan. It's a ribbed, draped, pleated, Art Deco style ceramic vase. Paid a couple of dollars. Can't remember where now. Sold on offer for fifty dollars plus shipping. I know you've heard it before. If it's free, it's for me. This next item was free. What is it? It's a 1970s vintage Cost Pro 4AA headphones in excellent used condition. It was free at an estate sale. This is from the Big Stone Gap trip where there was a room of electronics that everything was free except for the printers. These headphones sold for $50.96 plus shipping. And this lamp is from a little community sale. I paid a couple of dollars for it. I switched out the globe. There were two there. One, the brass was in good condition. One, the brass wasn't. So I switched out the globe I liked with the brass I liked. 
and sold this vintage mid-century modern bullet torpedo shaped table lamp for $50.98 plus shipping. This 1956 Betty Crocker's Pitcher Cookbook 2nd edition found it at a garage sale for about $2 and sold it for $55 plus shipping. And these are a garage sale find. Paid four or five dollars for the pair. They are mid-century modern Gregorian incorporated tapered candlesticks, lucite with clear copper flakes inside. Sold for full asking price of $59.95 plus shipping. Again, pick up these lucite candles. They have a lot of value. Highly collectible. Because I'm progressing in price, I'm showing you this again. American Greetings Taylor Swift ornament sold for $59.99 plus shipping and another one sold for $59.99. This lot of two Wolford glass blowing oil lamps found them at a garage sale for $15 and they sold for full asking price of $59.95 plus shipping. I found this cute little lamp at a garage sale, paid about $3 for it. It's a little pink small boudoir table lamp, glass and plastic shade, as is, it wasn't perfect, but the price was. It sold for four asking price of $59.95 plus shipping. This Creative Memories large sorter box for photos, it was brand new, found it at a garage sale. I think I paid about $5 for it, and it sold for full asking price of $59.98 plus shipping. Another church rummage sale fine. You've got to get out to those church rummage sales this year. It's a Samsung third generation Smart Things hub. Now it was missing a CD and a cable and I couldn't test it. I had no idea what was on it, if it worked. We could have gotten a lot more for it if we could have tested it. The buyer asked us what was on it and I had no idea. I had to say I had no idea. So therefore the price was lower than what we could have made had we been able to inspect it. So we accepted an offer, $60 plus shipping. Now the garage sale fine. The lady wanted $10 for these glasses and she wouldn't budge. So we bought them anyway. There were eight glasses broken into two lots of four. Vintage amber Indiana glass in Colony Park pattern. Eight ounce goblets, excellent condition. Four sold for $26.95, but the buyer bought both lots. So the sale came to $64.73 plus shipping. And I have a pack and ship video out there on these. This is a restore find down in Johnson City, Tennessee. Very large round globe lamp in a diamond pattern. I just know it was unique. I'd never seen one like it before. I think I paid $4 for it and it sold for full asking price of $69.99 plus shipping. Would you have bought this to resell? This is a find from a long, long time ago. Bought this in Ohio at the Salvation Army, paid about $5 for it. It was made in Italy and it's a footed or pedestal apothecary jar with a circus tent top lid. It was actually very beautiful. It eventually sold for full asking price of $69.97 plus shipping. And yes, I have a pack and ship video on this one. Another vintage Art Deco mid-century modern style vase. A garage sale find for about $2. Can you believe this sold for $70 plus shipping? And that was on offer at $70. These are Goodwill find. Probably paid about $3.99 because that's the average going price at Goodwill. Our Goodwill anyway. Four count lot of Rogaska crystal clear wine glasses with optic panels. The four count lot sold an offer for $75 plus shipping. And I'm showing you the etching here for Rogaska. Always check your glassware on the bottom. Look all over. See if you can find the brand. It helps a lot in researching. Found a bunch of Department 56 Christmas ornaments at a garage sale. Paid a couple of dollars each. And this Christmas Crinkles Cat Patience Brewster Christmas ornament. Sold for $76.46 plus shipping. At that same garage sale, we found these elephant bookends. They were just beautiful. I think we paid $5 and they sold for $76.46 plus shipping. Another free item from the Big Stone Gap Virginia estate sale that we went to last summer. A vintage 1997 Mad Cats Panther XL arcade flight controller a joystick with a trackball sold for full asking price of $89.95 plus shipping. Don't you just love free stuff? Crate and Barrel. The style is Stax, S-T-A-X-X. -X. I will always pay attention to Crate and Barrel, especially after I research these bowls. And I found eight of them at the Goodwill. I broke them into two lots of four and this lot sold for $80 plus shipping. 
This is a church rummage sale find. I think we paid $5. It was brand new in box. New Perfect Drink Smart Scale. It's an interactive Bluetooth recipe app and stainless steel shaker. We list it for $99.95 and we were very pleased when we were able to sell it for $84.96 plus shipping. How many times have I mentioned church rummage sale in this video? This is another church rummage sale find and they're brand new glasses in a box that was sitting on the floor, practically under the table, dusty, but they all had their original foil tag. Old Williamsburg Imperial Glass, their emerald green iced tea or water goblets, pretty certainly paid $8 for the box and sold a lot of six for $85 plus shipping. Found this box of candle holders at an estate garage sale, ran by a friend of the family. They're Indiana glass candlelight in ruby red candlestick holders that there were three sizes available and sold six of them for $89.70 plus shipping. Not too bad. And the salt jar is a goodwill find. It might have been about $4.99. It's a vintage Essex Malden crystal salt or sea salt jar, also known as a salt pig. When I first saw this, I thought it was missing the lid, but after I researched it, I found out there was never a lid with it. It sold for four asking price of $89.95 plus shipping. This next item is one of those odd items that I mentioned at the Goodwill that you probably wouldn't pay any attention to. Again, we're into the unusual today, like these things. You pick one up, Mark? Keep watching here. Right here, Kim. I'll show you what they are. So what are they, $5.99, something like that? Four, four ninety nine. Four ninety nine. Yep, we're getting them. Four count, they were brand new in the original box. It was missing some components, but the cleats were new. They are truck bed tie downs for Nissan Titan Frontier. Sold for full asking price of $89.99 plus shipping. Odds sometimes can equal good. And that eight count lot of crate and barrel bowls that I separated into two lots of four. The second lot sold, sold for full asking price of $99.95 plus shipping. $80 for the first lot, $99.95 for the second lot. That's why I always suggest to you to check out plain white dishes and do your research and see what they might be worth. This is a garage sale find and we had a long conversation with the gentleman. Show you something else the find of the day and it was free. Canon 310 XL. This vintage 1986 Canon 310 XL Super 8 camera with manual and it sold for $128.50 plus shipping. And another great find, paid only $2 at an estate sale. I call it the Boy Scout sale. In 1918, Dan Beard, Woodcraft Series, American Boys, a book of signs, signals, and symbols. This book sold for $149.95. Another odd item, another large item. This might have been the find of the day. A $5 item at a garage sale. And Mark didn't really want me to buy this because it was so big. It's a Durst F30 24 by 36 millimeter dark room photo enlarger with carrier and Mark did test it. What did it sell for? How about $152.96 plus shipping? Not too bad. So you're seeing some of the odd items that we pick up to resell. Did we know when we first saw it that it had value? Not until we researched it. Another Goodwill find, I found this box of six flasks and luckily all the information was on the box so it was very easy to research. 100 Pyrex, yes made by Corning Pyrex, round bottom flask with long neck and a lot of six sold for $150 plus shipping. Yes they did. And this is a restore find and we did pay up, we paid $10. It was brand new sealed box of a Microsoft Natural Ergonomic Keyboard number 4000. How much do you think it sold for? It sold on offer for $179 plus shipping. Not too bad. Love this find. This was my find at a garage sale. Paid $5 for this vintage toaster. It's a Sunbeam Radiant Shade Control Toaster Auto Drop. It needed cleaned up. Mark did a great job. He tested it. We could say that it works. 
and it sold for $189.95. Loved that. And how many of you know about my Fire King Jadeite bowls? A set of two mixing bowls, beautiful bowls with big red flowers. I found these at Kay's sale, Kay meaning the lady who had the garage sale, who had a basement full of estate sale things from her parents. And the day of her garage sale, when I first met her, she let me go downstairs and take a quick look. I found these jadeite bowls. I had no idea of the value. There was someone else with me. I couldn't research it. I just knew that Fire King jadeite had value. I asked her how much she wanted for these two bowls. She said $15, but this rare two-piece lot of Fire King Jadeite Splash Proof Bowls with the big red flowers, are you sitting down? Paid $15. I'm serious, are you sitting down? They sold for $950. My best eBay sale ever. You know our tagline is simple sales for good profit. That's what our entire channel is about. And we hope to inspire you to look at simple things differently and hopefully find some gems that you find are worth far more than you ever would have guessed. And I'm going to include a link so you can watch the entire video that tells you the whole story from finding them to getting them sold. Simple sales for good profit. 